Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome to just a really quick tutorial video here uh, just because we have a patron server for Divine Journey 2 and there's been a lot of uh, issues with Otemic, a lot of people disliking having to do the, the ceremonies and stuff to progress in Divine Journey. Uh, so I wanted to make this video because, uh, because as you guys know within the first chapter within Tales, uh, Totemic is a part of that as well and is required so I want the information to be out uh, for when Tales comes out as well as just uh, to help anybody that's having issues with it as well. I know I've, I've addressed this before back on SevTech with rituals uh, but I wanted to take some time just kind of to remind everybody how Melody works and stuff uh, that may be having issues with it so uh, when it comes to Melody don't forget that each instrument has a specific, a specific amount of melody uh, that it can output to a ritual. So you can't rely on just a couple, uh, just a couple uh, instruments for any given ritual. So for example, for the buffalo dance, which I think is what a, pe a lot of people are having issues with, um, because you are kind of limited at that point with the, with the type of instruments that you have access to. Um, it would be flute, totemist drum, wind chime, and jingle dress. I'm not on Divine Journey 2, but I'm assuming that all four of those are available. I would suggest having at least, I don't know, four, maybe eight wind chimes. I've got eight here. Uh, just basically enough to cap out your melody. You can't really have too many. Just make sure that there's nothing underneath them and make sure that they have leaves above them because it is going to boost the power of those wind chimes. Uh, and I tend to like having three drums. Uh, because when you're using the jingle dress, you want to be moving a lot while doing so, uh, like this, basically just strafing. Um, and so using the flute, the drums, and the wind chime, we can get a lot of melody out of that. Um, or quickly, quickly reach the melody thresholds of all four of those instruments. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to right click, right click, and that's going to start the buffalo dance. And then we're just going to start strafing back and forth while holding right click. Um, basically, it's going to play our flute and start pounding on the drums. And you can see the melody going up there. And just make sure that you're actively moving the whole time. And you're going to have no issues whatsoever. You could see that I only was about half halfway through the time there. Uh, and you can see that I did get my buffaloes over here. So, these are cows. They look a little bit different. That's because of Better, uh, Better Animals Plus, uh, which I use in within Tails. But... Um, but you could see I had no issues whatsoever pulling off the uh, the buffalo dance. And then once you get your buffalo um, and you grow those and do all that um, and get your buffalo teeth to make your rattle, the next thing you're going to want to do is go for the serenade for Cyrinx, which is flute and rattle uh, to start this. So we're just going to do that. And then what we're going to do is just move back and forth and occasionally change out our instrument that we're using. And you can see we're going to shoot up through this and if you ever find yourself having issues uh, you can just basically uh, push yourself up with a few more wind chimes and that tends to help um, I may have to buff up my wind chimes just a little bit here yeah looks like and then we're gonna come back in and we're just going to do the same thing switching out our instruments occasionally uh, because remember that you're going to have capped out you're going to cap out your melody uh, for like the flute and the rattle and the drums you're going to cap that out um, as you play so if you find that your drums aren't giving a lot just go ahead and switch over uh, to something else for a little bit uh, kind of focus more on using the flute and the rattle a little bit like that I may actually be hitting the melody cap there um, but you can see that I've got Pan's flute okay uh, and this is actually a very important tool for progressing further within the mod I think I might be hitting melody cap with the chimes because they weren't doing as much maybe maybe eight is cap um, I can't recall or maybe it's less than eight but uh, something something like that maybe six maybe eight something uh, maybe even less than that that's fine we have uh, however many we have 14 <laughs> Might be overkill, but that's okay. And next up, we are going to have the Eagle Dance. Uh, now this one is generally a little bit tougher, so just kind of bear that in mind. But uh, we're going to do the same thing. And just kind of move down through our drums. 
while switching instruments. So you can see we have a nice lead here. Um, if you have issues with this one, just try it again. Uh, sometimes you might fail this one. Um, it is one of the harder ones. This one in Baycock uh, do tend to be a little bit tougher. So, and sometimes, yeah, like that. I got close. So what we're going to do is just try again. You can see this time um, it's going a whole lot better. I'm, I'm doing a fast switch on my uh, instruments. If you ever start having issues, that does tend to help because for some reason it registers that uh, differently, like quickly switching those instruments. So there we go. Uh, there's our eagle dance. And then, uh, of course, the last thing, at that point you would then have access to uh, the eagle bone whistle, um, which is... Once again, another instrument. So we're going to be basically switching between one, two, and three here. For the Totans, uh, this is going to be Wind Chime and Eagle Bone. I've shown this one off, of course, in my old Baycock video. Uh, but this is going to be the exact same process, right? We're just going to switch out between these. And doing the fast switch, probably your best bet, especially in these higher ones. Uh, so just quickly switching between these different instruments. I'm not ready to fight Bake Off, but I don't even think I'm wearing armor in this world, but and if your drums don't seem to be doing a lot, just kind of tilt your camera up. Having everything kind of organized here uh, does help a bit. So you can see we didn't quite pull that one off, so let's just do it again. Uh, that and that. And it's important to kind of get back onto the ritual um, as soon as you start it because that does help uh, help things a bit because it gives you a little bit more time to build up melody uh, because there's so much diminishing returns with the instruments. And you can see this time we got it a whole lot easier. So sometimes it kind of comes down to Luck. I'm gonna pop into creative mode real quick before Baycock spawns. I don't even know where he spawned. Oh, it's because it's in peaceful, so he just instantly dies. But yeah, so that's how the rituals work. Um, you know, set yourself up a nice little area. I like this setup here because it's kind of organized. I just walk left and right, you know, A and D, A and D, A and D, and then just quickly switch between my instruments while playing them um, and make sure that you're switching them out. Also, make sure that you get Pan's flute. Don't forget that. Also, don't forget about the jingle dress. Those two, I think, um, are commonly overlooked. But for normal progression, just make sure that you get the jingle dress. Make sure that you get the pounds for loot. And don't just make one wind chime. Um, I think I think in Sevtech, I think I use like four. So it's probably a bit overboard here. I think I'm capping out melody on these uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So um, I don't know if I'm really getting full effect out of 14 of these. But uh, we're in creative mode, so I can just do whatever but yeah i just want to make that quick video to kind of show off the the different ceremonies show that they're actually not all that hard to perform they're super super easy yeah you might have to try them a second time possibly even a third time uh, but if you're doing everything correctly they are super super easy uh, to pull off so anyways i hope that uh was of use to some of you guys and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did as always be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.